Hi guys, today I'm doing a day in the life of a hemodialysis patient. I am just about to be picked up. Filming could be awkward, but I'll do my best and get the footage that I can. And uh, I hope you uh, find it interesting, learn something, and you see what it's like being a hemodialysis patient. I'll take you in taxi as well. I'll show you the Bridgewater unit, which I'm going to. And this Bridgewater unit holds 12 people, 12 patients. So it's, it's not very big and um, it does a morning shift, afternoon shift and a twilight shift. Today it's a twilight shift. I'm being picked up at 5.30. Now it's about 20 past 5 so uh, yeah I hope you uh, enjoy it and come along for the ride. It's here now. Are you alright mate? Hi right, bruv. Oh, nice one. Alright. Thanks very much. No worries, I hope it all yeah, goes yeah, well this yeah, afternoon. Yeah. Your best driver yet. Have <laughs> a good night, see you later. Here we are at Bridgewater Satellite Unit. Always oh, going that way. And How long are you in there, Colin? I mean, no, it's all 10. I might see you later on. Yeah, um, Bridgewater Satellite Unit. I'm going to go in here now. And yeah, I'll film what I can without filming people right so see how I press this one yeah how's it going all right you must have weighed now This machine getting ready. It's cleaning. And that's the kidney filter. That does the work. Yeah, so now I just uh, sit and wait uh, for the machine to clean and the, the nurse to come and connect me up. I'll jump again to my net line here. And the fistula is still. It's not ready, it's only two and a half weeks, but it's doing well. We picked up at 5.30, at 10 to 6. So we're pretty, we're pretty really early actually today. So what do I do when I'm doing dialysis? Well, I've got my laptop, my headphones, I've got a book to write in if I want to make some notes or something. You can also read a book if you want to. Okay, just after 6, I'm being put on now. Uh, the machine is being set up by the kind nurse and I'll be on shortly unbutton my shirt and expose the connection so I'm being connected up now wear a mask for this bit so we're off and rolling the machine is there I'm hooked up and this on here Blood pressure was 148 or uh, 85 or something like that. So a pretty good starting point. 149, 83. And blood pressure always goes up with me towards the end. It's sometimes it's over 170, over 100, say. It's on the higher side, but yeah. Now we're doing this for for three hours, and they're taking 2.5 liters of fluid off. 2.5 kilograms of fluid actually, not litres. It's now quarter past six and now generally I've got my laptop and do what I want to do. I'll look at my phone, just sit and wait basically. <laughs> yeah, I've just got the tea and the biscuits. I think my favourite time really, 20 past seven. You get one brew per session and I make it last. <laughs> I've just had my uh, dressing changed again because I've got a, a skin tear and on Monday, today's Friday, Monday and Wednesday, it'll bleed in. So I'm keeping an eye on it. You know, they put 
antibiotics dressing, it's silver dressing on it. Just gotta keep an eye on it and we'll change the dressing every time. And I had a, a swab to check if there's any bacteria because if this is infected, that's infected. You know, it's a very worrying thing basically. So on Wednesday they checked for the bacteria and it come back negative, so that's good. And here's the skin, so they don't seem too concerned. Okay, now the screen is saying one hour, 40 left. So it goes pretty fast. I should be done three half past nine and ten. The taxi is due at ten to pick us up. I'll show you that later on. We have got a TV as well with no sound on. And uh, England and Iceland are about to play. I don't feel like doing much on the laptop today. Just focusing on making this video and relaxing a bit. Not very productive today, but it's all good. Okay, so nothing much new has happened. Uh, we only have 35 minutes to go, and the time is now quarter to nine. Ten to go. That's what I like to see. Treatment goal achieved. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that concludes my session. I'm ready to go home. Here's the waiting area. Nobody here right now. Let's hand the first one off. Because um, I'm doing a shorter sessions. So we're just going to wait for the taxi to come in. The taxi's due at 10 o'clock. So it's only 22, 10. They can be late as well, easily for 15 minutes a lot of the time. And look through the window. Yeah, so what happened today, because of my skin tear, they put a silver dressing on, which is antibiotic. Uh, but it's not bleeding today, it was bleeding the last two times. He had to change that. And uh, they put a different type of dressing rather than a gel dressing. And uh, it's silver dressing, so uh, they've done some tests as well. Check it, there's no bacteria in there that can cause an infection and stuff. So the results are not results are not out finally. There's partial results, they said. They're not too concerned at the minute, and um, that's a bit of a relief. So yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's always something when it comes to dialysis. You know, it, it, it's never a dull moment, so to speak. And what I mean that is something to be concerned about or worrying about sometimes. That's what I've gone through with my toe with this and... I just want to get back on track and just uh, start to live life and stuff and not worry about things develop developing and um, health issues. But it, it is a struggle. It is a struggle a lot of the time. It's balancing life with this and how you feel and doing your best in life as well and to maintain a relatively normal life and that's been very challenging so far on hemodialysis for us uh, but uh, I'm just somebody I'll do my best of the situation I will keep keep pushing on and remain positive remain positive until well forever positive but get that transplant and then that is the answer really just to get back to a, a normal life and hopefully not worry about medical issues for a good while uh, but for now there's never a dull moment in dialysis and just to elaborate a little bit on my toe it's looking a lot better I've been antibiotic for two weeks it looked infected it looked pretty I won't I won't put a picture on it because it's too gross and Basically, it was bleeding, it was an open wound and conflicting with the nails, it's struggling to heal. But it's not so painful now, I think it's on the mend. But I'm seeing a podiatrist on Thursday, today's Friday, so six days. And uh, But I'm waiting for the appointment with orthopedics and hopefully resolve this nail situation forever. So it's not giving me any nerve pain and stuff, because I do feel nerve pain and 
the odd ache from it or some weird feelings. Um, so it has been a bit of a worry as well and affected me. Uh, you know, I've not really wanted to go out as it is when it's all like this, go out and do some walking, exploring. I just need to feel so I need to be a bit more careful until it's, um, you know, in the clear. Okay, we'll come back in. Yeah. And ask him, okay? Yeah. Are you see Right, okay, yeah, for me. It's for me. Yeah. I speak I yes. about that. <laughs> okay. Alright, mate. Ready now. How are you, Colin? I am good, mate, I'm good. <laughs> Doing alright, can I complain? Yeah. But yeah. And yeah, the weekend's nice. What's, what? it, what's it done to the police? <laughs> it's free there, isn't it? One, two, one. Free police, yeah. Yeah, they're they, they onto something. Way. What have you done? They're onto something. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've got them up wrong way for me. <laughs> yeah, the ambulance there. It's all going on. There you go, Colin. Yeah, okay, lovely Chris, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Chris, see you later. Thanks for watching, I hope you find it useful, enjoyable and knowledgeable of what it's like to have a, you know, hemodialysis session. Uh, we've got a playlist, a playlist you can check. There's about 14 videos, 15 videos of kidney videos covering different topics from this kidney transplant journey we're on. Until next time, peace.